What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. This is the home of MRB Classic Pro Shop, where Mason Brantley is a pro shop operator doing all kinds of good things for the bullers here. So make sure you stop up here and see him. But first, today, we're gonna talk about tempo and what it means for your footwork all the way to the foul line. Stay tuned. All right, so now we're gonna talk about tempo. We're gonna talk about what your feet do from here all the way to the foul line. Now, a lot of the times, uh, at some point, there's a lot of people who they've been told to slow down, that they throw the ball too fast. And in order to slow down, they think about slowing down those first couple of steps, and then all of a sudden they really speed up the last three. That throws your tempo off because those first two steps aren't gonna be the same all the time, and those last three steps aren't gonna be the same, and you really don't have a way of gauging that. How we're gonna gauge your steps is I want you to count your steps out loud. One, two, three, four, five. Or if you take four steps, one, two, three, four. You notice the pace at my of my claps are in a good tempo. It's in a cadence almost, like music. Boom, boom, boom. It's the same thing. Your feet need to move to the line at a good cadence or a good tempo all the way through. Now I know some of you are gonna say, well, I have this power step where I have a little, like a half step. That's okay. If you really, really like that and it does get you there, get you to the foul line in time, don't remove it, don't get rid of it. If it helps you, if you create power using that, then don't remove it. But a lot of us, we just have uneven steps all the way through and it throws our consistency off, it throws our accuracy off, it throws our balance off, it throws everything off. So what I want you to do is count your steps. One, two, three, four, five. If you end up with an inconsistent pace, like a one, two, three, four, five, because of how your feet are moving too quick at the end, you, you go nice and slow, and then you speed up. If you end up with something like that, try and speed up those first couple of steps to match your last three. Once you get that mastered and you get to the foul line and you are uh, in good time or in good tempo and you just come through the ball nice and smooth, try and see if you can slow all of your steps down to try and get your ball speed to slow down. I made a video on ball speed, which just talks about the footwork uh, of your feet moving forward in your speed or in your footwork to make your speed of the ball come down throughout the swing. So go check that out. But for now, let's work. Let's worry about your tempo. Make sure you're to the foul line before the ball and see if you can't make it a little bit cleaner and smoother all the way through. So I hope this helps guys. Um, if it does, let me know. Make sure to comment and like the, uh, the, the video below. Uh, if you're not already, please make sure to subscribe and head over to Bowling Faithfully and subscribe over there as well. We've got the first chapter coming out on Bowling Faithfully here this week, so stay tuned to that. Otherwise, guys, this is your lesson on tempo today. So uh, be sure to head over to patreon.com and follow me for lessons, uh, virtual lessons there. If you are in the Detroit area, we're doing, vir we're doing regular lessons, in-person lessons here. And next week, starting Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm gonna be over at Bowling IQ headquarters, which is Delora Brothers headquarters, where I'm gonna have access to the whole facility for a couple of different clinics, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. And then I'll have open bowling going on to where we will have the ability to put out all the patterns from last year at Junior Gold. So if you're a Junior Gold bowler this year and you need some practice time in between your squads, this is a perfect opportunity. It's gonna be $25 for two hours. You get to bowl on any of the lanes that you want, practice on any of the patterns that you want, or just $15 for a single hour. It's up to you. So make sure to head over there or hit me up and ask questions. Email me at lifestrackcontroljr at gmail.com and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. But until next time, guys, Take care. We'll see you later.